Hello everyone, so this is the video that I've been wanting to do for a very, very, very long time and I've been having flare-up after flare-up after flare-up and I just couldn't do it. So here it goes. So I'm going to start with all the negative things that I've seen with this product. And then I'll move to the positive, you know, things since I'm in a bad mood and it's raining. Yeah. Let's start. So first I have my cup of tea because I need to keep warming my voice so you can actually understand me um, for people who don't know. So this is our product today. And yes, I know my hand looks like 10 times the size it is. But that's one of the negatives that I found that is really bulky, like, like, it's not fashionable at all, at all, like, what's wrong with you, seriously? And um, then there's only one color, it comes black, uh, and uh, the model or the, the whatever you want to call it, the, the design, is both for women and men. <clears throat> Kids are not included. I don't know why. <laughs> so what happened is I looked around Amazon for a very long time and I there was a lot of products that are similar to this one but I could not find um, uh, there was no uh, chipping available to my country so I had to stick to what was available for my country so I know there's better products but this is what was available. So, this is the product, which is uh, an electronic heating gloves, <laughs> which is uh, for skiing when you're outside. And because, you know, it's uh, hot and all of that. So, it contains a, com a place, a com compartment, if that I'm saying this correctly, where there's um, uh, batteries, and the batteries are connected to a wire. And the wire goes like this, like you're seeing in the picture. You don't see that in the picture. And then the heat is supposed to be from the top and then all around the fingers. So to start off with the review, let's be honest. I have carpal tunnel syndrome, which affects my ability to feel correctly. Um, like my hands are numb it's really hard to get my hands to feel and uh, that's why my uh, occupational therapist physical therapist when they're doing the when they're hitting stuff um they don't really trust my judgment like uh when they ask me like is it too hot is it cold etc of that because i don't feel so they keep checking because they would wrap my hand I have a look like this one, I, and it's kind of actually hot. So they would wrap my hands with uh, hot containers and uh, with, a, with a towel, and because it's really hot, they would be boiling it like the minute that I would arrive, and they would put my hands on top of them so I can, when I'm, when I'm moving, whatever that exercise that I'm having that day, my hand with the heat would get a little bit unlocked. So they don't trust me anymore on that. That's why I had to turn into, because this is like you boil the water all the way to up, whatever the boiling, uh, the degree of water, because it varies regarding where you live and how high or low you're on the sea level. So let's assume is this is like 80 Celsius. So I would not be feeling the 80 Celsius. I would be feeling like it's 40, which is like warm and. Uh, yeah, they don't trust me anymore and that. So I had to find solutions because I've burned myself. And this comes with the heating stuff. Let's talk about the negatives. So we said that it's bulky. The design is horrible. And let's start with what I faced. So it came with this, right? And I have this. So yeah, you know this by now. Ah, or is that just the tissues when I need them? Can't find the tissues. So anyways, it came with this package, and then, and then this, 
I'm going to put this like as close to the... Where's my camera? All right. Can you see that? If you can read it, I can. I, I couldn't read it. And it didn't come with a manual. The only thing that it came with was this package like this. And I was like trying to... to, to because there were two gloves inside. And I was trying to get them out. And I couldn't. It was so hard to get out. So the packaging is not great. So I got it out in the end. And uh, only this was inside. So this is not really, oh, there's actually, there is a manual. I just noticed, I thought that this is just a picture. Oh, I actually just noticed this. I just noticed this. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh my God. But I've, uh, I've used it, so yeah. No need for this now, but anyways, let's see how it works. Uh, open the battery pocket, take out the battery case, put the 3AA battery into the into the each battery compartment, connect the cable, because there's a cable I'm going to show you in a minute, to the battery case, press the button, and the indicator light is on, which is true. So, attention to those stuff. No battery included. That is true. I had to buy my own batteries. Do not use manage manganese dry battery. I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm using. I'm using Darcel. Wipe, wash, and air dry suggest. Wipe, wash. Ah, you're not supposed to wash this. That's correct. And um, I, I struggled with this because I was like, okay, there's wire. I'm, I'm almost certain that I cannot put this in the washing machine. Probably just like pack dry, and then fourth, uh, up oh, for third, uh, no use the gloves for a long time over two weeks. I'm not sure if they mean like as in it's still on cons cons consistently for two weeks or what exactly. Please remove batteries to prevent leakage. Oh, that's like general rules and then heating temperature and working time depends on different battery types and surrounding environment okay that's it and that's how it's used <clears throat> so this is what you're supposed to be getting this is the amount of heat that they are promising you okay and i did not feel this i did not feel this so uh this is the left half of course you cannot swap because it's really difficult it gets really uh uncomfortable so you need to have the right hand and the first problem that i noticed was that i could not get the battery compartment out and you can see like my hands are small and it could not fit them so i had to like do this and then do like this, push out, and then this thing got out. I hope it's focusing correctly. Okay, so this is the battery. I'm going to open. It's on the flip side. Okay. Okay, you can see <clears throat> three doors. So I'm going to put this back. Okay, and on the back there's this. You click it and it's supposed to start heating. And then you need to put it back inside. So again, the same problem, because I could not, uh, um, it's hard just to, it's really hard to put inside and outside. And I really struggled with this. I'm like, okay, this is weird. Why is this happening? I didn't, didn't like this. And then it's supposed to start heating. What happened is that because I could not really understand how much heat there is because of my, uh, my conditions, I had to ask 
my son to wear them and he and I asked him like how much do you rate the heat and when they were running at like half an hour uh, after I turned them on there he was like 7 out of 10 and I made him compare between this and the other heating stuff that I have and he was like no the other stuff are hotter but I could barely feel 1 to 2 percent of the heat so to me there was not that what I've been promised I could not see that and even my son why, why did I lock it? Anyways, and even my son, like, um, it's not what I've been promised. This is not the heat that I've been promised. This is not how fast it should uh, go. And then, I, I, what I found about this too that was not really nice, the compartment, it's, it's not really uncomfortable. However, you still feel like there's something weird. And they do say like one size fits all, but I've seen people say that it's um, small to their hands, uh, stuff like that. However, it's big on my hands and there's nothing that can, you know, like kind of like tighten this. It's just a hook. Uh, like the, this little thingy is a hook to put those together. It doesn't tighten up anything at all. There's no tightening. You just like for them. Click it, that's it. And then what I found is that this glove actually and this is the hand that's affected the most. It has a problem with the cord and it does not run. And maybe it's going to prove me wrong in front of the camera just because I'm talking about it. But uh, it's still working because I'm talking about it. But anyways. This light, I'm not sure if you can see that, it's it's kind of faints and then goes off. And the other glove doesn't do that. The other glove would just run and I would feel the heat more on my right arm. But I have less problems on my right arm. So, that was weird. The good thing about it is that... The padding is so comfortable to the point that my hands, because you've seen how they would, they would get clawed like this, and it's so hard to separate, and you cannot do that, like, passive movement with somebody helping you, etc. of that. And not, I can't cause myself, like, insane pain if I do that, or somebody else would do that for me. So what it did to me was, like, it kept my hands... My fingers separated, so I was able to kind of like take a nap in the middle of the day because my hands were not in so much pain. And because of um, the cold is one of the triggers of dystonia, it really helped my hands stay warm. But was it delivering on the promise that this is an electronic heating glove that I can use outside and it's waterproof that's just the way that they're saying etc of that it did it so my uh, total review for this if I'm going to rate it uh, I would say buy it but do not accept much of um, of a you know of a good effect let me put it that way but they're not really that expensive I think they were like around $22 but I paid um, double so I get them express and to my disappointment I was pinning so much hope on them yeah and if you do that you can feel more heat there's a wire you can actually feel the wire when it's heating so if you do that you can actually feel more heat but it's like I cannot just keep crossing my hands and pushing on it so I'm like no this is not what I agreed on however the price is not bad and the, after all like the whole product is not really that bad but it's not what I've been promised so I I give it two point half out of five stars uh, did the trick it warmed my hands not to the degree that I wanted. It kept my uh, fingers, you know, separated. Perfect. But, um...
not satisfied. However, if you're interested in something that would help with dystonia, this is this was supposed to be for uh, writer's cramp and musicians dystonia because they have it in their hands. However, I have journal dystonia. However, I have another product that I received from Amazon and it's amazing. So it will be my next review, hopefully, unless there is a flare up on the way that I don't know about. You know, my dystonia doesn't come with a manual, it doesn't come with a forecast either. So until next time, stay warm and safe. I'll see you.